Hey guys, Noli here and welcome back to my channel. Do you find yourself with win rate around 50%, uh, losing few games, uh, let's say from 10 less games you have only 4, maximum 5 wins. You are usually frustrated with the game, blaming bad matchmaking for your performance and this kind of stuff. So you may have classical um, case of going too far too fast. So, in today's video we will cover basics of game mechanics and tactics that will should make uh, your, your experience of the game much more enjoyable and, and should increase your win rate and overall performance uh, a little bit. Um, there is five simple rules that if you follow um, that makes huge difference in, in, in game mechanics and tactics that you're using and that I see a lot of people are not actually following. So basic rules, uh, basic five rules that you should follow are uh, following. So play in the beginning at least, or until you feel a bit more comfortable, play between tiers one to five. And if you are playing CV, then tier six. Then second is play objectives. So that means get caps and defend base that I see a lot of people are not following. Uh, rule number three is stay with the team, so don't rush and YOLO. Uh, I also see a lot of people that are separating for the team, going solo, not following directions in game, and then get focused and die very quickly. Then rule number four, stay alive. So if you die, um, you will cost your team points. Uh, so that means if you are low on health, don't engage, turn away, sell away, and uh, uh, try doing everything you can not to die. And last rule is playing the team. So that means um, add friends in the game and uh, try always to team up um, with other friends or players that you see are doing quite good in games. So that it, it means not that you have to follow specific um, team play, but it means that you will be playing uh, from seven players that are in game, three of them, so you and your two friends should, you should know that they are quite good in performance and that should make a huge difference when you are playing. So rule number one, playing between tier one and tier five in the beginning. Uh, why? Because in higher tiers you have a lot of higher skilled players that are usually playing in teams and they know what they are doing. So you will have difficult time um, enjoying and learning game in higher tiers. Uh, then also in higher tiers you have a lot of premium ships uh, that are usually stronger than a tech three ships. Uh, and when you about premium ships with guys who know what they are doing, you will have difficult time um, in tier C7 and 8 to perform quite good. Um, then, before we go further, just please guys check this skill. I mean, it's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so um, which ship I would suggest to between tier 1 and 5, uh, so tier 1 I would definitely suggest Black Swan, great ship in tier 1, then on tier 2 Samson, uh, destroyer, probably most powerful ship in, in, each, in each tier, um, can do great, um, then for uh, continuing I would definitely suggest cruisers, why cruisers, because you can reposition much faster, you can you have much faster uh, fire rate, so you can compensate mistakes much uh, easier than in battleships. Um, so in tier 3 I would definitely suggest Freant, um, and then tier 4 I would definitely suggest Svetlana, it's a great ship with torpedoes. Um, and on tier 5 I would definitely suggest Königsberg, um, excellent, excellent cruiser. Um, if you want to try battleships on tier 4 I would definitely suggest or or Orion, uh, so in an English battleship great HE, so it's much easier to take out destroyers. Um, and then in tier 6, uh, because of the fighters, try Independence or Rujo uh, as, as CVs. Uh, also, for the first premium ship, if you're deciding what to get, try Julius Cesare, so it's really worth it, and I would definitely suggest uh, getting Julius Cesare, if possible, uh, as battleship. So, the second rule is play objectives. And I cannot stress how important this is. I see a lot of uh, new players not capping and not getting the areas and without uh, getting this central control area or, or when you have ABC map it will be very very difficult to win because enemy will get points for captured areas and then you will have, have to kill mostly most or the entire enemy team in order to win. Why are people not uh, capping the area is mostly because they're afraid they will get focused and die very fast and this is due to bad positioning so 
you here as you can see in this example so i'm with the cruiser in the cap area i'm bow on to the enemy if they sh start shooting at me i can very easily turn my ship so that it's completely bow on to the enemy that is focusing on me and just move backwards and forwards and it will be very difficult for them to take me down most usual mistake that people do is showing their broadside as you can see here enemy all of the ships are showing uh, us their broadside and we can easily shoot them if i turn my ship directly into them it will be very difficult for for them to, to shoot me and take me down so please uh, cap area because that's the only way how you can win except killing the entire enemy team in uh, central control map or in abc maps also what is hugely important is don't push always forward so use the going back button uh, going into reverse so as you can see in this example i was all the way back i, mean, I was still in area but i was on the edge of area inside i didn't push forward because enemy would then uh, focus on me and they would take me down very fast but um, i was inside the area also you can see you can use um, your friendly battleships if for example you're in cruiser uh, to hide behind them or islands and you can uh, hide also behind the islands island if they're available okay so third rule is stay with the team and don't rush on your so what does that mean so that means that you always have to check on minimap what is the rest of your teammates what, what the rest of your teammates are doing if they are going for example on as you can see here for a and b and you see this destroyer that is go alone on c don't do that so always if the entire team is going for a and b then in this con uh, concrete map uh, always stick with the team so because if then if the, if area a needs support you can support them from b if area b needs to support you can support them from a but if you're a long ship on c first enemy can focus on you and take you down and the second if if area a needs support there is no way for you to support them anyhow so uh, if you are staying with the team and enemy will be less likely to focus on you and kill you and you can support the rest of the team in whichever area you are battling for otherwise enemy if they stick together will have advantage of one ship because you're somewhere else out of the battle and you won't do uh, you won't help your team uh, teammates as much as you could one other super important thing is do not always go forward so that means do not rush and do not yellow so in this case um, I will push till this island but then I will stop and wait for enemy to come to me it's much easier to inflict the damage when you're on, on defensive and enemy needs to push to you then to go and push to the enemy try to survive and inflict damage so do not always go forward go into the reverse wait in the beginning at least half a minute until you see what's the situation on the map and where would be the best to position your ship and this is something that people often don't do they just press forward going and then they are too close to enemy then they, they get focused um, and try to escape and they are start turning their ship they show broadside to the enemy enemy get uh, uh, focused on, on on them and they die very quickly and this is a rookie mistake so don't do that so wait in the beginning go backwards as you can see here so i'm going backwards because enemy is charging to me i can hide behind the island and still inflict the damage if you check the minimap you see this cruiser that is flanking all the way up so you know if enemies was a little bit smart they can focus on him and take him down very very fast there is when you are a bit more experienced there is a, a legit tactic where you can flank with cruisers but you really need to know exactly when and, and how to do it so in this case if you if you can check the minimap so we are defending our base and this is what you want to do i we are pulling back defending our base we can focus on closest enemy and we can focus on one ship they are spread all over um they are not sticking together they are rushing forward and we can pick them up uh, easily and, and uh, make a numerical advantage on our side so always be careful um not to go 
too much forward too fast it is always good idea to to wait at least first minute or first two minutes of, of the battle to see exactly what is the position and then decide what to do so fourth rule is stay alive each time you die you will earn enemy team 60 70 80 or 90 points depending which ship you are playing i see a lot of games that are different differences like 50 20 30 40 points something like that and that means if you just turned away and sell away like in, a, in the middle of this game you would stay alive and your team would won so for example here um, we don't have the cap uh, unfortunately as you can see in, in the minimap how it will be developed our team is flanking all over the place I will lead now two torpedoes I have Molotov in front of me that is uh, targeting me and I have New Mexico on my left side so it's very difficult for me to not show my sight on both of these teams um, so I'm trying to stay in the cap as long as I can Gal Gallant is somewhere also there but I need to fall back because I'm relatively low on health now and Molotov has a really great accurate gun so I decided to turn my ship to Molotov as, as a bigger threat and this New Mexico is going behind the island but in this case I really need to start uh, or not to start I, I, I'm, I'm pulling back uh, as soon as I can and if I was uh, much forward in the middle of this cap area I would be already dead so now I decided that New Mexico is bigger threat if he took me without, without salvo I, I will be down so for me the highest priority now is to survive so I could choose not to shoot anymore uh, that would be also one option so I, I'm, I was hidden uh, so this, there was here a bit of luck because New Mexico didn't uh, hit me and I'm out of range of Molotov but I'm still pulling back um, so I'm because as you see I'm very very low on health okay now the situation was cleared a little bit and now I can push forward so it is very very important to see if you are low on health to be always uh, in position that you are not too much forward because if you're too much forward then you will almost certainly die and earn enemy points so either your, your two options is either to pull back as I did now uh, going into reverse and just just back back out or to be in the position where you can safely turn not showing enemy or broadside and then just sail away that is all even better option if you can position like that so if I was for example if I could turn behind one of islands because then I, if I'm in full speed, I can I can sail much faster than going uh, in reverse. Um, as, then as you can see, so here for example, we will manage to take this down even Molotov, keep the area, uh, take down uh, CV and win this battle. So always try to stay alive till the end of battle, if anyhow possible. And fifth and the last rule is playing in team. Uh, so after each battle you, when you see the result page uh, you click on the bottom right icon and then you will open the list of all people that were in game and you can press on this uh, little grand, green plus next to the person's name and add them as a friend and what is the goal behind of that so goal is that if you find somebody who's playing good or, or you know perform well you can just add them and a lot of times people people will just accept your friend invitation because they also want to have friends and then next time you just when you see them online you will build your friend list and when you see when you come online just ask them in the team a lot of time people will join because they also prefer playing in team and not not solo and um, then you are certain that from seven players that are in the game three of you would or, or should perform good and that means that it is much easier to carry the game for three of you than then when you are playing solo because if you're playing solo that means that maybe if other players are playing bad it will be very difficult to compensate but if you have three players that are playing okay it will be much easier to compensate other people that are not performing maybe also so try to protect yourselves uh, don't show broadside um, play obje play objectives um, get these cap areas um, play in team stay alive um, and don't rush and don't push too much forward and you should see immediate improvement in your battle uh, in your battle performance in, in your uh, win rate i hope you enjoyed it um, press a like and subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video guys see you later bye